it's it's long and hard and uh, very stressful. Sometimes you don't think anything's gonna happen, and something comes out of the blue and amazes you. It's it's just it's it's a crazy process, and uh, you never know what's gonna happen. But if you work hard, it's it's possible. Yeah, it's an amazing feeling. As soon as you get that first offer, it just feels great. It's just a great experience. Just all the stuff that you go through during the recruiting process, going to like these places, checking them out. It's really nice. Yeah, I mean, we've I've. We've been working with these guys for the past two years, and like I said, I mean, they had a long way to go, so when they first came in, we saw the potential. We are like, man, these guys can really play Division One football, because um, I knew that they'd catch up to me eventually and get on my level, um, and they are, and the, you know, I think. And so what I'm saying is, throughout the process, taking the visits with them, doing the camps with them, um, I was really excited to see them go through the recruiting process and get their scholarship offers and get theirs. Um, I think when Sage got his first scholarship offer, I think I was more excited than anybody else. And even when, when Seth got his scholarship offer from Western and committed, I was more excited than anybody else. I mean, it's been, a, it's been fun for me to watch them go through it. I mean, I ended mine, I started mine early, I ended mine early. So it's been fun, you know, for me to help them out and to watch them go through it. Um, you know, I think I'm just like, just as excited for them as they are. It's not what everybody thinks. Um, like I said earlier, the off season is a, lot, is a lot longer than the normal season, and being an offensive lineman is not like it's not a normal thing to do. You know, the movements, the the technique is not normal technique. Um, so you really have to work at it. And like I said, we've been working three or four days a week for the past couple of years, um, and we put in a lot of work to get to the level. Um, we're big guys, but we're not that big, you know. Some could say we're undersized to play at the Division One level. Um, so we've thrived off of te technique, not just overpowering guys. Um, so we had to put in a lot of work to get to the level. Um, they can tell you about it, it's been hard. When you talk about the daily grind, I mean, you know, it, it is a grind, I mean. Um, and it's not just going out to the field and running around. I mean, you have to do it consistent. You have to really work at it and give your full effort to it because it's not easy and it's not going to come to you. You have to go get it. It's been a really good life lesson to taught us how to you know, make a goal, strive, and uh, eventually you know, get it done. Oh, yeah, the work is definitely hard, of course, and just the grind. It's awesome just to see uh, what your work uh, will get you to and everything. So. Are there any special um, like dietary plans that you all <laughs> started to, to, you know, to, to help maybe well, so, shoot, I mean, less sugary drinks, drinking yeah. tons of water, trying to, you know, eat uh, healthier, leaner things. Yeah, we used to be skinny kids. Yeah. Like Seth and I, we had, we're actually, we didn't weigh a lot coming into high school. And he was 230 pounds just like a year or two ago. So you have to eat right. You have to, you can eat a lot, but you got to eat a lot of the right thing. Um, dietary, I mean, I'm not like eating salads and wraps for lunch or anything. But I'm also not eating cake and all that before bed, yeah. you know. So you just gotta be smart about it. Eat what you want, but do it in moderation. I mean, I worked out and did a protein drink until I got up to 300 pounds, and you know, I think it helped me out. And these guys, you know, uh, you you want to be that guy to have to put on weight, not take it off. Yeah, so just be exactly. smart about it. You don't want to have to take off weight. So it's kind of a fun experience for me. You know, I got to tear up the food every once in a while mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm like me. I'm gonna <laughs> lose weight, lose weight, and stop eating. So much, but um, I've been losing some weight, cutting down all the, the fatty foods and the sugar stuff, so it's been helping me out in the long run. You want to eat constantly, especially whenever yeah. it's big, and you got to say no every once in a while. You, gotta, you have push to push practice and you have to work, so just losing all the energy from working out. So you just and wanna, I, yeah, you and at the same time, it can be hard to put on the weight. I mean, like, as weird as it sounds, but sometimes it's really hard to, like, say, man, I got to eat all this. Because you got to put it on the right way. You can't just... Yeah, like, around. you got to eat certain... You got to eat a lot of certain foods, and that can be hard. You know, like, one thing I did to put on weight, I ate a lot of peanut butter and banana sandwiches. But it's hard to do, like... It's hard to eat, like, five of those every single day. Yeah. You know, you get tired of it. Um, so it's, you know, it's kind of hard, hard to take off weight, hard to put it on, but it's easier to put it on than it is to take it off.